okay? It's a six by six canvas. I'm gonna put it on there because that's the biggest question ever. Six by six canvas, okay? There, that's what we're using. <laughs> There we go. Thanks for the sprinkles, Chris. So six by six canvas right here. And I'm not gonna do anything to this yet because I think we're gonna paint the background as we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just somewhat trace my little birdie on. I went ahead and sketched it out, but I don't wanna really do uh, trace out the inside of its little breast because I want to use glass and I don't think this glass is going to be completely fitting in so I want to kind of make sure that the breast that I paint is about the same <laughs> about the same size as my glass so we'll paint that last so but I am going to tape this down I'm going to pull him up just a smidgy and I'm going to get one little tiny piece of tape and tape it down and then we'll trace our little bird on because I don't trust myself on the canvas. So I have a stylus. It's just a pointy metal object. And I have some graphite paper. So I'm gonna carefully trace on just the outskirts of this little bird. Let's do it this way so my hand's not in the way. And let's do this so my hand has a place to be. So I'm just going to just kinda scratch on our little bird. His little beak. We'll get a little bit for his eye. And kind of just a start for where the nest is gonna be. Let me see if I let me see if that's enough. I think that'll work. So what we'll do, let me do this. What we'll do is, I think I have a pencil. So if you're in the membership, if you are a member of the Shattered Circle, you will get the little tracer for the birdie, as well as a supply list uh, posted to the guides in the Shattered Circle. Um, sometime in the next day or two, I may sleep all day tomorrow, so it may, may not be tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to do my very best, though. But I kind of want to outline. I love the orange, so I'm kind of going to give myself some guideline for where he's going to be. So we'll know kind of where his little breasts, this is where little breasts will be. So, yes, if you're a member of the Shattered Circle, this birdie will be available to you probably tomorrow if I ever get out of bed. All right, so I'm gonna move this around and I brought a few colors from the studio with me. And I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I, my iPad is about to die. So if you guys want to um, save some questions till the end, I will be happy to answer your questions because I am, it's about to die and my phone is plugged up and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to answer all your questions uh, because I'll, I'll have to do this and look up under to do it. So save your questions till the end and I will do my very best to answer every question you have. I got my little palette. I'll scoot this over a little. I got my little palette. I got my little napkin. I have some brushes ready. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of Folk Art Sea Mist. And I think I'm gonna do the out, outside edge first. We're gonna do just the sea mist with a little white mixed in, and then I'm gonna do raw umber on the bottom for the beginnings of his bird nest. So let's see. Oh, goody, this is just about dried completely. So let's see what other blue I have. Not funny, that's not funny. This is a different blue. This is spa blue. It's a little, not quite as warm a color as I wanted. Let me see if I can do something with this. This is today's foobar. 
You know, there's gotta be one sometime. Let me see if I can see what's happening. Yeah, this, this is dry. Don't you hate it? It's half full and it's completely dry. What up, dog? What up? Let's see. Oh, that's just water. That's just water that I just poured in trying to mix it up. So I'm gonna try something because I do wanna use this color. So I'm gonna be ornery. I'm not gonna let the paint be the boss of me. So I'm going in. I'm going in, y'all. Going in the hole. <laughs> so I'm gonna just brush this on and then I'm gonna add a little bit of white just to soften it up a little. Going in. It's got lots of chunks in it, so. I'm gonna have to get those out. So I'm gonna just get right up to my tracer line. It's probably not a great idea to do this, but you know, I'm full of not great ideas. So, tis what it is. <laughs> Told you it might be a hot mess, and I was right. So let me get this crap out. We're gonna throw this away. We don't need to do that again, do we? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a smidge of white on my palette. We're just gonna blend a little bit of white in. I need more than that. A little bit of white in as well. That's kind of watery. Might not ever dry. So I'm just gonna blend in a little bit of this white. What in the world? It's just a bunch of gunk. Don't y'all hate that when you get little boogies? I just hate a solid color on anything. If it's just one solid color, it draws me crazy. So I do want to add a little bit of white and I'll hit, I'll hit those sides later. All right, we'll live with that, won't we? <laughs> I can't see anything going on out there, so y'all better be nice to me. Okay. Pretty happy with that. You can see it's just kind of very abstract, just a little bit of that blue with some white added in. I'm gonna rinse that and I'm gonna get a little bit of the raw umber, which is kind of a dark brown. And I'm just gonna paint this whole bottom and that's gonna kind of be the base of my nest. And then we'll add some lighter colors on top for the for the uh, rest of the nest. So let's see what we can do. So I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it in. I don't want it to be a perfect line. Y'all don't be judging me because uh, this could be, this could turn into a disaster. We'll just have to see. <laughs> this is why sometimes I, I um, film my workshops instead of doing them live because it's like, hmm, it could be bad and it could not be bad. All right, so that's all covered with brown. I'm gonna offload that and just kind of blend some of that into the blue so it's kind of got a transition, so it's not a hard line. We'll give it a few little strokes like it's a part of the nest. Okay, we'll rinse that. Now we need black, because we're gonna have a black, a little cute little black bird with a orangey kind of colored little breast. So let's get some black. Man, that's wet. 
Okay. So I'm gonna avoid the center where we're gonna, where we're gonna put the glass. So I'm just gonna go around, offload a little bit of that water. We're gonna go around. And I don't want the edges of the bird to be perfect, okay? Because they're feathers. So you don't want like a nice, perfect straight line. You want it to have a little bit of texture there. So we're just gonna kinda pull towards that edge. I'm gonna turn it a little, be easier. Because you just want it to be kind of textured and feathery. Right, I'm gonna turn this upside down because it'll just be, well, maybe not. Let me try it. Nope, I'm not gonna be able to. <laughs> so yeah, I needed that wine, didn't I? So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna skip his beak and we're just gonna kind of come in and feather around into that blue to create a little bit of a texture. Now we'll fill it in like a coloring book. Just right down to that brown line. This is definitely not a uh, professional painting here. I want it to be jaggedy, so try not to be uh, perfect. And I might get a smaller brush to go around that eye. Let me get something a little smaller. But before I do, let me see if I can do this. Y'all, I am like, I don't even know what's happening here. I'm gonna get a little bit of white on my brush, mixed in and just kind of add a little color. He might turn out to be pretty cute. He's looking pretty good so far. All right, I'm gonna get a smaller brush and do his eye. His eye, I'm gonna do the center of his eye black. And then we'll add a dot and then we'll do Do some white, let me rinse that. I'm gonna add some white around the outside and then we'll kind of blend some of that in so it's not perfect. That's pretty good. I just didn't want it to be stark white. Check that out, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's do his beak, and I'm gonna do his beak with um, antique gold, and then we'll mix in a little black, probably. Just a little smidgy. I'm gonna use that same brush, it's just kind of a round point. It's a number four, kind of small for detail. So I'm trying not to get my hand in the paint and we'll get him a little beak in. And I'm gonna come back with a little black and just kind of pull some of that in where it meets his nose. I don't like that. Get off there. I think I want, I brought some orange and red for his breast. So I think I'm gonna get a tiny bit of this orange. <sighs> what happened there? Tiny bit of this orange to add to his beak. Just a tiny little bit. And then a tiny bit of white. 
Hey, he's not bad so far. Not bad. Let's see. What do you think? Not bad so far. Y'all like? Give me some thumbs up if you like him so far. So I'm gonna keep this orangey color out. And we're gonna work on his tummy. His tummy. And I'm gonna add also a tiny bit of red for contrast. And we'll use a little bit of that white too. This is actually, uh, the orange is persimmon by Americana. And the red is Americana Cherry Red. So I'm gonna do orange. I'll use a bigger brush. Where's my bigger brush? Wish I could see your comments, it's driving me crazy. So I'm gonna do the orange all over and then we'll put in a little bit of that red to uh, shadow that in a little. And again, you don't want a straight line, so kind of mess it up, make it a little jaggedy. We may pull a little black back in here where it might show under the glass. Right, I'm gonna just wipe that and go into my red and add a little bit of that wherever. Wherever, wherever you so choose. Probably not gonna show much because I am gonna put this here, but I don't like any bits of white to show or of the canvas to show when I'm doing something like this in case some of it peeks through. We wanna make sure that it doesn't. So we'll put a little bit there. I'm just blobbing it in. I'm gonna wipe that off and get a little bit of white. And we'll do, that's probably, none of that is probably gonna show, so don't stress about that too much. I'm gonna get a little bit of black on my brush and kind of feather out the top where it meets the orange. Rinse. A little bit of white. Oops. Too much. Okay, now we have to work on the nest. I'm pretty happy with him, and I think once we put his little breasties on, he'll look really cute. And we rinse that, and we are gonna work on the nest. So we have a base coat for the nest. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more brown because it is kind of see-through at the bottom, so I don't want that to be a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead, ooh. <clears throat> Hang on, got, got that icky business happening. I'm doing that right over the top of my canvas too. All right, hang on. So I'm gonna use my flat brush again, it's quarter inch flat, and just give it another quick little coat of the brown, and then we're gonna go right into another color to create some nests. Hair. All right, so what I brought for the nest, I really wanted to use some of that blue too, that icky blue. Let's we'll see what I can do. I dug it out of the trash. 
Oh, gross. Did y'all see that? Okay, that's going back in the trash. Uh, the tan is Americana khaki tan. Let's see, I'm about out of spots. So I am gonna use my big old fatty um, round point that I have. This is a number eight round and it's really good for, you know, leaves and stuff like that. We're gonna use it, I'm gonna wet it and then I'm gonna use the taupe in there to just to create some um, like nesty type material. So right into the wet. So I'm just gonna come in and like start adding just some nest stuff. I'm gonna load it and see what I'm doing? I'm kind of loading it and then twisting to, so that I make sure it's still at a nice little point. And we're just gonna add, ooh, just some nest material. We'll add some tiny ones in between the bigger ones. And I'm also, watch what I'm doing with my hand too. So I'm taking my brush, okay, and I'm starting and I'm pushing down a little bit, but I'm also twisting and turning my brush left and right as I pull across the canvas. That creates that organic line, okay? That creates that organic line instead of trying to like do that yourself. Just take your brush and then watch my hand. Let me see if I can do this. So lay it down and then twist the brush back and forth so it creates a really more organic kind of look. All right, so let me do another one here. And then we're gonna fill in with some more color. Okay, I'm gonna get my tiny brush, the little bitty baby one, right here, and add some smaller little versions of that. So just some little teeny, kind of fill in some of the gaps with some little babies. Then I'm gonna go into my white, roll it in, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of white to some of these lines. But y'all know I like contrast, not a solid color of anything. We're gonna add some more of that dark brown on top too to kind of incorporate it all together. All right, so let's get that. And that is the raw umber. Have I lost y'all yet? Am I just going crazy? This is kind of how it works when you don't know what you're doing and you're just flying by the seat of your pants. When you pre-plan, it's easy to talk about what you're doing. So this is that raw umber again that's on the bottom side. So we're just gonna come in and add some of that back on the top. Roll your brush. Just some tiny little squiggles. Then I think we're gonna add some of that blue too. There's a bird outside my window and he is, he is a happy little fella. All right, this blue is nasty, look at that. But I am going for it. A little bit of blue. Oops, wrong color. Hmm. It's not perfect. If I were 
fiddling around, you know, by myself, I would probably work on that a little more. But I'm just gonna keep futzing until I like it. Just went back into the umber. All right, I'm tired of fussing. Tired of it. So that's what we have so far. And this could be a little better, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna let it ride. What do you say? What do you say? I plugged in, let's see. Okay. So, let me put these brushes in the water. Isn't it tweet? <laughs> I can see your comments now. It's so tweets. So cute. And I did bring my little pen. So, we may let this dry a little bit and, um, Add a little something, something to it. It looks pretty dry, except for the the uh, nest. So I might add. Hang on. A little outline. Oh, his eye needs something. He his eye is two flats. There we go. Just a little dot in his eye. Just a little kind of squiggly outline. Isn't it cute? That blue really made a difference. Just needed something. And then my color selection on my desk right now is very minimal. So this is what we're gonna put on his little belly. I really need that to dry. So here's what we're gonna do. I am going uh, to grab my blow dryer and I'm gonna blow dry this. So if you have sensitive ears, I'm gonna pull it over here and blow dry it. You guys talk amongst yourself. Yeah, the outlining just gives it a little extra something, doesn't, doesn't it? So uh, talk amongst yourself. I'll be back in less than 30 seconds. So while we're kind of waiting on that one last bit to dry, I'm gonna get some of this taupe. And my outside edges are kind of a hot mess, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of taupe to my edges so I don't have to worry about that later. I'm just gonna paint those edges real quick. So if anybody has a question, about the shattered circle, I would love to answer your question. We close at midnight tonight, so if you are on the fence, now is the time to jump down and come play with us inside the group. Because tomorrow you're gonna be sad. Just get these sides done. I'm being fancy tonight, aren't I? <laughs> Let me get some more. There will be a tracer for this bird. Um, what did I do with it? Oh, right here. There will be a tracer for the bird inside the shattered circle sometime tomorrow and a list of all the colors we used. You will have to refer back to this video for instruction, but we will list the colors and the tracer. So let's get this in. 
any time, if you're inside, if you're a member of the Shattered Circle, you will always get tracers and color lists for things we do on this page. That is just the bonus for being my friend. <laughs> it's the friend bonus. Almost done, and then we're gonna put glass on. Give it a finishing touch. Really finish it off. All right, done. <clears throat> okay, so since I blow dried the nest, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my little pen and I'm gonna make a few little squiggles with my pen just to add a few little pieces of nest with my pen too, just for fun, just for fun. Nothing fancy, just a few little outlines and sprigs. Yeah, just, I can't pick it up and show you. I'll have to do it in a minute, um, so yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these two little glass pieces that I found for his belly. Is that not going to be adorable? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Woo! Okay, so I'm not even going to glue that down. What I'm gonna do is mix up some resin. We'll put resin, a very thin coat of resin on, I don't wanna touch this, on the outside, let me see if I can do this, on the top of our piece, and then we will uh, add a little more on top of the glass. We'll place the glass and then put it on. That is so stinking cute, if I say so myself. I was worried we were gonna have a hot mess, but it turned out pretty good. Not bad at all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some resin. Let me get rid of this. And I uh, brought my pen today. So we're gonna mix hardly any. I'm gonna mix total, gosh, let me decide. I think we only need freaking less than a half an ounce. So let's do a quarter and a quarter. And that's probably gonna be too much. So let me see what we have, a quarter, that's gonna be too much. A quarter and a quarter is gonna be half an ounce. That's gonna be too much. So I'm gonna mix, let's see. I'm gonna mix a eighth. I'm gonna mix an eighth and an eighth. That'll be a quarter and I think that'll do it. That is hardly any resin at all. It's gonna be hard to pour that. This chick is gonna have a hard time pouring that. So let's do an eighth and an eighth. That's gonna be fun. Gloves. Same pen I always use, John. It is the graphic 0 0.5 needle drawing pen. Put my gloves on. I'm gonna pour that minuscule amount of resin. This is gonna to be tough, so I'm gonna pour a quarter ounce of each. So let me do, ooh. Okay, that was all that took. And resin, let me swap these around. I went over my line just a little. So I need to compensate for that. One drop. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right. I need a smaller stirry thingy. I don't think, oh, I have one. I think I have this, I have this. So I'm gonna scrape one into the other Gosh, watch this not be enough. I'll be so mad. 
Surely it will. Surely. Three minutes seems like overkill for this, don't it? Catherine, are you still here? Okay, we're gonna scrape all that in to this cup. And then we're gonna stir this. You know, Colleen, I did not get a lot of rest last night. I went to bed and I was so hyped up, I think, that I just tossed and turned. So we're gonna do this for three minutes. If somebody will time me. No, microns work too, Tracy. As long as it's archival, it will work. So stirring for 30 minutes, or 30 minutes. Do not stir for 30 minutes. We're gonna stir for three minutes, and if anybody out there has a question about what we're doing here, or a question about the Shattered Circle or Boot Camp, let me know. I have three minutes to answer questions while I stir this cute little thing. And I'll be happy to answer. We do close at midnight, and we won't reopen till the fall. So, yeah, that would have been good, too, if I'd have pre-planned, Samantha. Having some vitrograph for the nest would have been really smart. So, somebody has to do that. <laughs> somebody has to do the little birdie with um, some uh, vitrograph, for sure. So, uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, $37 a month for a minimum of two workshops a month with videos, PDF, pictorial, and yay! Thank you, Diane, we're so excited to have you. And tracers for everything we do. Uh, contest monthly, Q&A monthly. You also get the tracers for anything we do on this page, as well as a color list for anything we do on this page, and all kinds of perks. And the biggest perk of all is that you get to hang out with all these wonderful people inside the Private Shattered Circle Facebook group because that is the place to be. It is where all the good things happen. <laughs> yes, it would be cute if she was sitting on an egg. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can pop in this link again. Probably won't, nope. Can't do it, let's see. This link will take you to our information page where you can find out all the things you need to know about what happens inside the Shattered Circle. I'm stirring. What happens inside the Shattered Circle and it'll help you make your decision about whether you wanna join us or not. Uh, when you join, you get six months of, uh, of uh, the last six months of uh, workshops are already loaded in your membership. If you join for the annual price, you will get the last six months as well as the vault, which has two years of workshops. Also included are um, what we call our learning tools, which is how to cut glass, how to break glass, how to tent glass, how to cut shapes, how to uh, resin, how to do all the things that you need to learn to be a successful glass artist. We explain all the tools, we explain all the different plasters we use, all of the stuff. So I'm being told to stop. Okay, so I'm gonna pour about half of this onto my canvas, and I'm gonna spread it around with my hands. Okay, so I'm just going to move it around on my canvas. Try not to touch the sides too much because they are a little damp still. Then I am gonna place, my, I actually I'm gonna put a little bit of glass on, um, or a little bit of resin on the inside of my glass. Let's do that. Just rub a little on the inside. Then I'll place it on his little belly. Then I'll put a little bit of resin on the inside of this piece. We just make sure. 
We're just making sure. Oh my goodness, look, those two pieces fit together perfectly. I gotta sneeze, y'all. Somebody say bless you. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna take the rest of my resin. That's not it. I was panicked because there wasn't any in there. And I'm gonna pour it right over the top of that and scrape out anything that's left and we'll spread that around. So it literally took one quarter ounce of resin to do this piece, one quarter of an ounce. So I'm gonna just make sure all this is right. We'll get this set back up the way it needs to be. And when that dries, it'll be stuck down really nicely. Oh, that is gonna be so stinking cute. Well, Okay, I'm gonna take these off because my hair's in my mouth and I can't stand it. Thank you for the blessings. Okay, so we'll get rid of those and look how cute. I'm gonna scooch that up. I need something to scooch it with. I'm gonna scooch that up just a smidge. I'm gonna pull it towards me for a second just to make sure I can see what I'm doing. That is too stinking cute, y'all. I'm gonna torch it, but I wanna show you up close how cute that is. Is that not adorable? OMG, that might be the cutest thing I've ever seen. Ah, oh, I should have thought about that. I did have some clear, so that would have been really cute around the bottom, but I'm pretty sure I used every bit of that resin. I should have thought about that, but I may add some after this dries. I may add some and re-resin again. I'm tempted to do it now. Should we do it now? Add glass or don't add glass? We could add it, man. I've got, I've got clear. What do you think? Should we do it? I'm not even gonna worry about resin right now. I'm just gonna add the glass and hope it sticks. And if it doesn't, I'll come back tomorrow <laughs> and add some more resin. I think I have a tiny bit left. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at that. Let me get a glove. Let me get a glove and see if I can scrape out just a little smidgy of this. Probably not, but that's okay. It's just one nice layer, so um, hopefully it'll stick. There's no double layers. So I'll let you know tomorrow if it sticks. <laughs> but that is Gonna be awesome, thank goodness. Some, who said that? Who said add glass? So the clear allows, I'm gonna wipe my hands with one of my little uh, wipies from Barrett Mac, which is one of my members. They make these uh, wipes. I'm gonna clean my hands with, love it. So the clear, let's put this close up. The clear kind of gives it a little extra something, something. And you can still see the nest underneath. Check that out. Is that not awesome? Oh, I love it. Who said add this? <laughs> Who said add glass to the nest? That is stinking adorable. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna turn. Oh, I need to, I need to resin. I mean, I need to uh, torch real quick. Just one quick two second torch draw. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, I could roll them. I think they're fine though, they're all, um, one layer thick, so and so they're stuck down to the resin that's already on the canvas, so I think it'll be fine. And if any of them pop off, then I'll come back and resin 
next time I have, uh, next time I do a live and resin that as well. Oh, that is so cute, y'all. Look, oh my gosh, I have to show you again. Look at that. Holy moly, that might be the cutest thing I've ever done.